a youthful city with two universities, Nottingham is known around the world for the Robin Hood legend. The big hitting monument in the city is Wallerton Hall, a stupendous 16th century Elizabethan house, while Nottingham Castle, the source of the Robin Hood tales, is atop a sandstone ridge burrowed with caves. For centuries Nottingham was associated with its lace-making and bicycle trades, and you can uncover this past at the Industrial Museum, also at Wallerton Hall. So, here is the list of 10 best things to do in Nottingham, England. Before we start, make sure you subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon for the latest upcoming travel videos. Here we go. Number 1. Old Market Square. Nottingham's old city centre boasts several important tourist attractions. It's here that you'll find Old Market Square, the largest such public space in England and home to the Nottingham Tourism Centre, an important first stop before exploring the city. On the east side of the square is the neoclassical council house, crowned by an imposing dome. The impressive Guildhall is also close by. While strolling through the city's historic centre, be sure to head over to the Nottingham Playhouse for a look at the remarkable Sky Mirror. Created by sculptor Arnish Kapoor, this 19-foot-wide stainless steel dish points upwards and provides a unique look at the sky above. Also of interest here is Nottingham Speaker's Corner, the first such public speaking venue outside London. Number 2. National Justice Museum. Newly refurbished and rebranded, the National Justice Museum is set in a former courthouse dating back to the 14th century. Over the years the courtroom and jail were enlarged, and the most recent changes were made in the 1870s following a fire. Nottingham Civil and Criminal Court were located here until the 1980s, while there was a police station that closed at the same time. The museum is a sharply presented interactive attraction, with characters like judges and jailers dressed up in period costumes and telling you about their jobs. You can visit the underground jail and old gallows, get locked into the stocks, and pick up snippets about crime and justice in Nottingham. Number 3. The City of Caves. Numerous caves exist in the sandstone underneath Nottingham, including the spectacular 322-foot-long Mortimer's Hole directly below the castle. Part of the excellent City of Caves attraction, this particular formation takes its name from Roger Mortimer, lover of Queen Isabella, wife of Edward II, legend has it Mortimer once hid here from the jealous king. In all, more than 450 caves lie beneath Nottingham, the largest known grouping of caves in the country, and have been used for centuries for storage and defense, accessed from Garners Hill, fascinating public tours of the caves are available. Number 4. Nottingham Castle. Once spoken of in the same terms as the Tower of London and Windsor Castle, Nottingham Castle looks over the city from its high sandstone crag known as Castle Rock. As with many strongholds in England the castle was torn down in the wake of the English Civil War to prevent it from being reused. Afterward, Henry Cavendish, the second Duke of Newcastle, built the Baroque Ducal Mansion on the remains, and in 1878 the Nottingham Castle Museum opened in this building. In the collection are pieces of Wedgwood Jasperware pottery, watercolours by Paul Sandby and Richard Bonington, and Nottingham alabaster carvings going back to the 15th century. In the Long Gallery, there's an exhibition of 19th and 20th century fine art British by the likes of Henry Dawson, Rochard Bonington, Tristram Hillier, and Stanley Spencer. Number 5. Stonebridge City Farm. Close to the centre of the city in Nottingham St Anne's area is a place where youngsters can come into contact with domestic animals like rare breed pigs, cows, sheep goats, ducks, donkeys, and Shetland ponies. This space was a former slum, cleared in the middle of the 20th century to make way for a school that was never built. 
The attraction has animal handling sessions when children can pet and handle smaller creatures like guinea pigs and rabbits, while you can also buy animal feed from the shop for the larger animals. The farm's cafe has home-baked cakes, while the trading post sells produce like fruit, herbs, and eggs fresh from the farm. Number 6. Nottingham Contemporary Art Gallery In 2009, the city opened one of Britain's largest contemporary art centres. This is set in the lace market area, and there's a small homage to Nottingham's lace-making heritage in the traditional lace pattern on the façade. The gallery is free to enter and puts on up to five contemporary art exhibitions each year. When this post was written there was a retrospective for the British photomontage and graphic artist Linda Sterling, and over the past decade, there have been shows for established or upcoming talent like Lara Favaretto, Marguerite Humeau, David Hockney, and Francis Stark. Every weekend the gallery puts on free family workshops, and also organizes film screenings, spot talks by gallery attendants, discussion groups, and courses in skills like printmaking. Number 7. Highfields Park. Part of the University of Nottingham, Highfields Park is a splendid 52-acre green space full of exotic plants and trees. Fun things to do here include boating, walking, picnicking, lawn bowls, croquet, and pudding. Children can burn off steam in the play area, and the Lakeside Art Center stages special events. Another park worth visiting is the Arboretum, home to lovely gardens and some of the city's most popular festivals. Close by is the Church of St. Mary the Virgin, the city's oldest church, known for its 19th-century glasswork. It's also the city's second-largest religious center after the Roman Catholic Cathedral Church of St. Barnabas. Number 8. Green's Windmill. The father of George Green, one of 19th century England's most noted mathematical physicists, built this windmill in Nottingham Snenton suburb in 1807. After the elder Green passed away, George Green was in charge of the mill until he died in 1841. The mill was almost lost to a fire in 1947 but was restored to working condition by Nottingham City Council in the 1980s and from some distance around Nottingham, you can see its huge white sails turning. Families come down Wednesday to Sunday to check out the functioning grinding mechanism and hoists, and to visit the hands-on science center in honor of George Green, shining a light on magnetism, electricity, and the visible spectrum. Number 9. Papplewick Pumping Station. Widely considered one of the finest examples of Victorian industrial design in Britain, the Papplewick Pumping Station is a superb example of 19th century craftsmanship. It boasts a range of original features including an ornamental cooling pond and a boiler house complete with six Lancashire boilers, all set amidst formerly landscaped grounds. The ornate engine house is home to the original twin beam engines, built by James Watt in 1884. Here visitors find a combination of Victorian engineering and artistic design, including beautiful stained glass windows, elaborately decorated columns, and polished mahogany and brass. Another feat of engineering can be seen at Bestwood Country Park. The park is home to the winding engine house, the last remaining vestige of the large colliery that once dominated the landscape. Number 10. Newstead Abbey. If you need some inspiration for a day out, the ancestral home of the poet Lord Byron is 10 miles north of Nottingham. The 12th century Augustinian Abbey was dissolved during the Reformation in the 16th century and turned into a country house right after. The estate was inherited by Lord Byron at the end of the 18th century and he would live here on and off before selling it in 1818. The Gothic façade of the Abbey Church is adjoined to the Tudor-style house which has been preserved as it was in the 19th century, showing off the poet's private apartments and a variety of memorabilia. Outside there are 300 acres, with Gothic revival follies, lakes, waterfalls, peacocks, rhododendrons, and exotic trees like maples. The last word. So, guys. 
this was the best list of things to do in Nottingham. Hope you will like it and appreciate it. People who come to this city are amazed by all of the awesome things there are to do and see. More recently, it has become a popular cultural destination boasting numerous attractions, including two large theatres and several art galleries. It also hosts many great festivals and events, one of the most popular being the annual Nottingham Goose Fair. So, if you love to travel and you want to see the whole world then Tripar is the channel that gives you a list of the best places to visit in the world. Make sure you subscribe the channel and press the bell icon for latest upcoming travel videos. Bye bye, see you in the next video.